butterflies every time we speak in my head cause it feels like I'm dreaming I think we're in love but baby is that just me? Mm. I know I might seem shy but baby I really need you I'll tell you everything that's on my mind if I need to So ooh morning walk which is just my favorite way to start the day let's see if i can balance you guys on here i'm afraid you're gonna fly out so we're back from our morning walk one of my favorite ways to start the day if you guys have followed for a while you know i'm a big morning walk girl it just feels so good to like get outside get fresh air move the body so now i'm gonna start getting ready for the day we have a busy day today i am actually hosting an event tonight at a cool restaurant in LA that I'm really excited to go to. Um, it's called Funke, I think. It's like this famous chef. Um, it's supposed to be really good. So I'm hosting an event there tonight with JS Health, which I'm so excited about. My favorite brands, my hair vitamins, I swear by them. And then we're gonna stay at Blake and John's house after that because we're going to their Friendsgiving tomorrow. So I need to like pack up a bag for all of that and I wanna shoot some stuff while we're out there. So I need to pack like a lot of stuff, even though it's just one night and i'm gonna start getting ready for the day i'm gonna do my makeup and i have to show you guys the like makeup setup i've been doing lately so i got this mirror off of amazon that has like all these lights on it because there's a window in our bathroom and then the mirror is like to the side which is it's like not the best lighting for doing your makeup and it's just kind of like an unusual setup i guess so i've been putting the mirror in the window and like balancing it so it doesn't fall and then turning all the lights on and it's like the best setup I'll also try to remember to link that mirror with the lights for you guys So I feel like nothing is better than true sunlight and like doing your makeup in front of a window or something but obviously you need a mirror and this is like the best setup and this is actually really good artificial light as well. So I'm gonna do my makeup now. <laughs>
Now I am going to start doing my hair. I'm actually like filming a little tutorial on my phone while I do it. So let's do it. I'm going to do like a messy Pamela Anderson bun type situation. Like, because I'm wearing this sexy dress tonight and the theme is pop of red. So I want to have like this cool updo for it. So that's what we're going for. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, this is the finished hair. Ooh, she's, a little, she's a little big right there. It's just like a super messy updo, so we just go with the mess. It's like Pamela Anderson vibes. You just pin this on. You know, you just always. The sounds of Clayton. Uh, you just always mess with it like all day. Yeah, what's up? Okay, yeah. So. I'm gonna mess with her all day. It is what it is. I also wanna show you guys the jewelry that I'm wearing today. You know, it's the holiday season, it's cyber sales coming up and everything. Measury is having their biggest sale of the year, their Black Friday sale, and I'm so excited to partner with them on today's video because they are such a cool brand. I've loved them for forever, so I'm super happy to be sharing their pieces with you guys and their sale. This is literally the best time to shop their stuff. Stuff will sell out, so get what you want, what you like. It's 20% off site-wide and in-store with a minimum spend of $150, so I'm going to share some of my favorite pieces with you but I feel like you guys probably already know Measury is so cool. All the cool girls wear it. It's great quality. They have great price points and I just love their stuff. So let's go over the little pieces that I'm rocking right now. So for starters, this necklace stack, I'm obsessed with this one. So this is like a little gem diamond situation here. And then I got a D right here. And it also has like the little stones on it. So I love that this is like to the side. It's just so cute. I love that it's a dainty little D. But I can never decide if I should get a D or a C. D for Clayton, D for me, obviously. But like both of our letters are not the most aesthetic letters, I guess. So sometimes I want to get like an A for my mom's name or a J for my dad's name because they those are like cute letters to me. But then I feel like it's so random and nobody knows what it's for. So I have a bunch of C necklaces. So I got a D one and it's really cute. But if you have like even more of an aesthetic letter to start your name, like K, A, J, G, I like all of those a lot. B, it's also really cute. F is cute. All the letters are cute, but I'm just rambling about this. But anyways, I love this. I love that it's really dainty. Um, it's so pretty. And then this little chain layered with it. I love. It's a perfect little like simple layering. And then I wear their dome rings all the time. These are great. I've had them for years. And then also this ring, this like ribbed kind of ring. I get so many questions on this. This is such a good piece. I actually have two sizes of this ring because I like it so much. And it's one of my favorite pieces of jewelry. And then these earrings are new. So I got these little, they're like the little clip style of earring too, which is so nice because it makes it easier to put off, I mean take off and on. I feel like having long nails, it's really hard to put earrings in a lot of the time. So I just did like a little stack with those little kind of like dome hoops. And then I have these little triangle kind of hoops. I'll put a picture here too so you guys can see a little bit better up close. And then this is like the same triangle shape but a bigger one in the front hole. And I think this is like the cutest, simple kind of like chunky earring stack. I love the way that these look. And then the bracelets. I have been really into bracelets lately. I used to not be a bracelet girl because they're so hard to put on by yourself. But now that I have Clayton in my life, I mean, I've had Clayton in my life for 10 years. So I should have been a 
bracelet girl much earlier but I literally can't put these on without Clayton any bracelets pretty much but anyways I love the way that bracelets look I think that they're super like flattering and I've been really into them so I got these that are so cute this one is just like a simple one kind of like square ish shape it's really pretty and then I paired it with this little like emerald one again I'll put like pictures on the screen for you guys so you can see a little bit better but this one is so cute. It has these three little dangling emeralds and I love it. It's just like dainty and fun and I feel like it just looks so pretty on the wrist. And then this is maybe my favorite piece, my favorite new piece from them. This is a heart bracelet and it's just gold. It has all these little heart charms along it. I think it's the cutest thing ever. I think this also comes in silver. If you're a silver girly, I might transition to a silver girly because I've been feeling silver, but I have so much gold jewelry. I am like at heart a gold gold jewelry girly. And that is all the little pieces that I'm wearing from Measury. So I'll link them all in the description box for you guys. Definitely be sure to check out their sale while it's happening. Get yourself a gift or get someone else a gift or any jewelry that you've had your eye on because we love measuring so yeah you can shop down below okay it's lunch time and i'm making a kind of fun dish today i made a similar one to this last week i think it was it was kind of hummus mediterranean inspired but this week i'm doing a little thai inspired one and i've been actually using collard greens as like a wrap or like a tortilla not really a tortilla it's more like a spring roll instead of using a uh, rice paper collard greens turns out really nice but I'm gonna put carrot cucumber basil mint and I fried up some tofu and then I'm gonna make a peanut dipping sauce I okay, started on the dipping sauce it's just peanut butter soy sauce rice vinegar I'm gonna add some garlic and what else? garlic I put honey in there as well some red pepper flakes stir it up then you can put a little coconut milk in there if you had it lime is good in that too Oh yeah, I'll do a little lime. This one doesn't call for lime. And... It's looking pretty good. These sauces are actually kind of hard to make to get the right flavor, we feel like sometimes. We go to a couple of different Thai restaurants where they make a really, seems like perfect flavor. And then other ones we don't like as much, so. See how this one turned out. Hmm. See, that's pretty good. Wanna try? Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. Oh, there he is. Hide it. I think the lime will help, but I think you might need a little more water. More water? It's like a little thick. Oh, yeah. Like it kind of just tastes like peanut butter. Mm hmm. Baby, I'm so into you. All right, so literally look at the size of this collard greens. Seriously, like the size of a, a burrito tortilla. So I just cut out like a little bit of this chunkier, thicker stem here at the bottom because that's kind of hard to roll and it snaps a little bit. So I just take that off. Kind of just cut it like this so you can still use more of the wrap, so to speak. And then I'm just gonna take a couple pieces of tofu, some of these carrots, some of these cukes, a couple pieces of mint, a couple basil leaves, maybe a little more carrots. And then maybe I'm gonna roll it up like a burrito. Ripped a little bit, that happens. It's a little wrap. I like to cut my wraps in half. And there you have it. Pretty. I used actually a couple of smaller collard greens and these ones turned out really nice. Wrapped up perfectly. Beautiful. I love these little collard green things. They're like really yummy. And beautiful. Uh-huh, and healthy. How is it? Mmm. Did you not do the basil last time? 
Well, last time was a different kind of roll. Mm -hmm. I love the basil. Mm hmm. And the mint. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We could put those little rice noodles in there. Yep. That would be I good. was thinking that. But this is like really clean and healthy this way. But you know me, I like a little carb. I really love carbs. The carb queen. Sodium and carb queen. In here. It's so pretty out today. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? It's mm -hmm. always pretty after it rains. Mm -hmm. mm, it's so good, babe. Well, we've been radio silent on our uh, wedding planning for the last month or so. We've been kind of keeping our heads down and trying to really figure out it, what it is we want for the big day and mm -hmm. where we want to have it and stuff. But we actually have some progress and exciting news to we share. We have some news. We thought about, you know, just like running away. Do the, do the old runaway. <laughs> the E-L-O-P-E. -E. Yeah, we thought, I mean like, wedding planning for anyone who's done it or is in the middle of it, you know, is not like the easiest, yeah. funnest thing ever. So there was definitely, we were like, oh, we get why people elope. And then we were like, should we elope? Like, As it was happening, you kind of started to realize more and more why people do it. Uh -huh. So, but ultimately we still felt like, you know, it was such a, it is such a special moment and such a great thing for both of our families. So we really wanted to make it happen and have mm -hmm. a wedding and get all of our friends together from all of the different locations. So we kind of used our engagement party as like a trial run to see if we liked having a big yeah. party and like celebrating and organizing all that and whatever. Which highly recommend that, like mm -hmm. to use it as a trial. Mm -hmm. If you're like on the fence. Considering eloping or whatever. Yeah. It was like really stressful planning that too. And I feel like we learned a lot from having our engagement party. And at the end of it, we were like, we do want to have a wedding after that. And we just want to make it like really special with our families and stuff and just try to make it meaningful. Because the one thing that we felt from our engagement party was like we missed some like really intimate special time with our family because you just have to like see so many people and we were taking a lot of photos and stuff so we're we're gonna do our best to make it like intentional time with our family and like all of our loved ones there yeah. and our friends are so important to us too but I just like I miss my grandparents and like my parents like I yeah. saw my dad for like three seconds and yeah. it's like it's hard so we were just like you know what we want to do that again and we want to like have some special moments and pictures and stuff. Like we didn't get a lot of pictures with our family at the engagement party because we just wanted it to be like casual and hanging out with friends yeah. and we seeing all the people that traveled. We but didn't do like the family photo thing there. Yeah. Because it was casual, but. And it, yeah. But we were like, you know, it would be really nice to have like these photos and these memories with our yeah. family and just like celebrate our love in a grandiose way, I guess, with our family and friends. And we said, yep, we're just gonna do it. So we have committed to having an actual wedding. Don't worry guys, we're not gonna run away. I mean, not that anyone cares if we did or didn't. No. We have some news. We have locked in a date and we have picked a venue, which I feel like is a huge deal because in the wedding planning process, everyone just kept saying to me, once you have like a date and a venue, yeah. everything will feel start a little bit to, easier. It start to pick up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and you'll have like a like, uh, weight lifted off your shoulders because that's just a big thing to figure out. So I and do that, feel better. That literally has happened. Yeah. Because seriously, up until even like the day before like signing the contract, we were still just kind of like, a lot of like unknowns and a lot of just just like stress stress and, and like then once you do that and send the check and know that it's gonna happen you're like and right. you just have like something tangible I guess yeah. to look for like when everything is abstract it really starts to stress me out and I'm like I I just love crossing things off lists and before we have like a date or a venue we can't cross law off our list yeah. so I do feel better because of that yeah so we're really excited about that and it's going to be a 2024 summer wedding we are staying in california i think we've talked about this before like you guys saw when we went and looked at venues and stuff it's really important to me that my grandparents are there and it's not easy for them to travel super far so we're just keeping it in california which we love california so we're excited about yeah. that we love the place that we're gonna have it at we are so so excited and now hopefully we're getting into like more of the fun things right really um, planning really dreaming up what we want it to look like and yeah how we want it to unfold and, and now that we have like a like place that. we can 
again sort of like cross things off the list and think like what would actually work in that place because before when it's like you don't know where it's going to be your ideas and your visions they all over, the over yeah so we're getting excited and feeling a little bit more at ease now that we've done that so all of you who gave us the advice that we would feel better after we got a date in a venue you did not lie. Yep. So yeah, that's been good. We're really excited. We're moving along and more fun stuff from our wedding should be coming soon. So yeah. we're we're gonna start like looking into getting things organized for like if we're gonna do a bridal party, um, bachelorette Bachelor. and bachelor party, yeah, bridal shower and stuff. Yeah. Like we'll start planning all of that hopefully. And yeah, just like chipping away on the list. So we're we're like we did it. We did a little. We did, we did a little something. We never. We never hired a wedding planner either because mm -hmm. we thought we should have like know where we're having it or if we're having it. But luckily, when we booked the place, we found out shortly after that they have a uh, like wedding planner on staff mm -hmm. that is f for our use. So we mm -hmm. kind of got hooked up with her right away, and so that was really nice. And that was another stress relieving moment. It was one less thing we had to find. But mm -hmm. But yeah, so we're, we're trying to get the stress levels down a bit and enjoy the planning process. Mm -hmm. I think that's like all of our wedding updates right yeah, now. Yeah, pretty much. We will say, and I feel like we've talked about it before and even mentioned it earlier in this video, wedding planning is super stressful. And we, especially me maybe, have been noticeably yeah. more... The cortisol levels are... Stressed. The cortisol levels are through the roof. And we've unfortunately uh, been maybe bickering more than we mm -hmm. have in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, we have so many things going on, so many things to plan, so many things to think about. So yeah. we're always just kind of like boom, boom, boom. We haven't yeah. had as much time to like relax and really just hang out. So we have been arguing quite a bit. Yeah. But I wouldn't even call it arguing. It's more like just bickering and... It's just like, uh, we're just like tense, I yeah. feel like. And it's kind of sad because obviously like being engaged and wedding planning should be like the happiest time of your life. Yeah. And in ways it is like we had so much fun at our engagement shoot mm -hmm. and our engagement party we had a ton of fun mm -hmm. but there there's just like these times in between those like fun exciting parts where you're just trying to make things happen and get it together and i just feel so stressed out sometimes and overwhelmed and then i just become like tense and you're you're tense too sometimes and yeah. then it just gets hard to like be our normal selves sometimes it feels like yeah. in this stage and it's sad because it just like brings out the worst in you when you're stressed yeah. and we've just like not been the best at communicating I feel like at right. times because of that so after like multiple times of just like fighting about stupid things or being like on edge about stupid things and whatever we're just I was like, like I was like what what is going on like yeah like there's like like we need to like figure this out or like yeah I need to start reading some books or I need to do something to figure like I need resources like yeah. there's something going on here right like we weren't meeting right I love and we talked to our friends about it who have planned weddings and stuff too and according to them it is normal like it's a high stress time you're gonna get in fights over things or like arguments or discussions whatever you want to call it about like the wedding planning process yeah. and how you want to do certain things or how certain things are unfolding whatever like it's normal but it's still not fun no. and we wanted to try to like reroute ourselves because we're like this isn't it this isn't the vibe like we don't need to be arguing about this stupid stuff or being like stressed and whatever and another thing that was like part of it is this is like a good tip for all you ladies out there i literally get like crazy a week before my period or like a few days before my period i don't know like i'm just like don't say the wrong thing to me that mm -hmm. week like the pms is real and i was telling clayton at one point because like the arguments would literally always happen like around then too and i was like you need to just like look at my flow app okay right. you need to know like you can always go on my phone whatever look at my flow app and if it says i'm getting my period in like three or five days or whatever you need to be like literally just aware like Super so yeah like whatever whatever i need because the those couple of days you guys if you know you know if you don't know good for you but like i can't control it like it's your hormones you know you know and i'm just like stressed from the wedding planning and stuff i'm like those couple of days you need to just be like yes babe like whatever mm -hmm. anything yeah i will do whatever and I feel like that will help a ton because I literally am different those couple of days and I really can't control it. And 
if you just like are extra aware of that, I feel like we'll be good. Yeah. Because normally I could take a little bit of like, if you had a little bit of attitude or if you were stressed out or you were tense or something, but those couple of days, like mm -mm. I need to be like a queen. It's full of queen princess treatment. <laughs> Anyways, so I, did, I did some Google search yeah. books to read for guys and girls to communicate better. Yeah, because that's what we like realized. We're like, okay, we need to like, communicate more because what happens is when we're like not communicating about something that's when we're sort of yeah. it turns into like we don't like a communication breakdown it was communication breakdown because we had yeah. so many things to communicate about there was communication breakdown mm -hmm. so this was like the number one response and apparently delaney's heard of this book mm -hmm. and i had it before but it's called men are from mars and women are from venus and also going into our new chapter as husband and wife mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, this is actually like really, I need to be more understanding of you mm -hmm. and how you work My entering cycle. this new uh, chapter of life. Yeah. You know? Just like adulting a little bit more. Like we've been together for 10 years. We know yeah. how to like coexist happily and we understand each other and stuff, but we are like more adult than we've ever been. We have more responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Even like planning a wedding just feels like very adult and like a lot of responsibilities and pressure so it's yeah. it's good for both of us to just like step it up in ways and like yeah. i can be way better at communicating too and be like cognizant of that and even just like telling him how my period makes me feel and like asking him to be more aware of that i feel like is more mature than just yeah. like not acknowledging that or looking into that i guess yeah for sure no, i agree but this book right here i've only read the first 50 pages and it is incredible how much like it is how accurate accurate it is mm -hmm. to like how we work and like what I would do compared to what she would do or how she acts compared to how I act and so I just think I told Delaney after reading I'm like it literally just must be like it's the truth like this like must relate to most guys and girls and most relationships with the opposite sex that these are differences and right. it's like things to be aware of and things to consider and just to know that you can find peace and like knowing that like just right. because you're acting a certain way doesn't mean that it's you're not mad like at something me wrong. or that you're yeah. Yeah, or that something's even wrong and like there's no reason for me to get defensive it's or just like understanding or, each other yeah, better yeah so literally 50 pages in i'm like this should be like a it's famous this babe. should be a book read in like high school or college yeah i'm gonna read it after clean yeah i feel like ever since we just kind of acknowledged intentionally said okay we need to like communicate better because yeah. we don't want to be like bickering or arguing or tense or whatever so let's commit ourselves to communicating better it has been a lot better and we got the like checked off our list of picking a place and yeah. a date which probably alleviated a ton yeah, of stress yeah. and tension anyways for anyone else out there who is in the middle of this process and feels that way we just wanted to share and keep it real and like that's not the most glamorous fun part of it but it is our reality yep. um and we course corrected and we feel way better and even if you're not planning a wedding or something i you know depending on what's going on in your life and if you're extra stressed or something that could be relatable yeah. too so you're not alone and if you are like a committed loving couple when you're like okay we both don't like like being in these little arguments or feeling tension or whatever like how can we fix it that is like a huge you, you've already made yep. tons of progress by doing that and Acknowledging caring and, and then caring, yeah. there's like all these little things that you can try to communicate better and understand each other and be more <laughs> peaceful and happy. Yeah, seriously and it's it's like you said it's already paid off yeah so shout out john gray mm, john it was gray. a man it was a man it might be skewed it might be skewed <laughs> it might be skewed maybe you're gonna read it and be like this is all a little mm. messed up mm, here mm, mm, mm. we need a woman we need the woman's version too we do we do we do john but yeah it says the timeless international bestseller so i mean the classic is the clout the classic guide to understanding the opposite sex anyways john good where read. did you get this information good read. from the women you better have women sources okay okay Joe. Okay. post lunch every single day in this household we do one thing one thing <clears throat> coffee o'clock it's coffee o'clock it's coffee o'clock it's poppy o'clock mm -hmm. it's poppy o'clock 
I don't like ginger lime that much. I'm going for a raspberry rose today. I think my favorite is the cherry limeade, but I like to save them. We just share one normally. Half is enough. I usually have like two sips and Clayton usually has like 17. I drink the poppy slower and he drinks it faster. And so I usually only get to like two sips, but that's kind of all I need. You're either like a chugger with your drinks or a sipper. I'm a chugger, everything. Like I'm a, I don't feel satisfied off of this sip. Like I need it to be to like, going. need it to be like all the way down my body. I just start getting ready for the event. I'm gonna change, but because the theme is pop of red, I actually might change my lip a little bit. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Have you seen that like cherry cola lip? Mm, I don't think that's dark enough. I need like a dark liner, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe like this one. This is like cherry cola lips. They're really cool. I don't know if I can pull it off, but we're gonna find out. So you like a dark liner. It's a little more purple than I wanted. I need to find like brown. Okay, sometimes I use this brown eyeliner. Like this good. Okay, then I'm gonna do like a red liner. Next. This looks really old, I don't even know this is freaking... This is like getting so crazy. What the heck is that? <laughs> Should I try to do a red lip or not? Uh, I'm not the biggest red lip guy. I know, you're not. I should have asked. Oh god, this lipstick is spicy. Okay, I need to sit with this for a second to see. Before I do it. I'm rushing out the door. I'm pitting my clips like this. I'm committing to the red lip. And I wanted to show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing this House of CB dress. It's so good. I'm obsessed with it. And my little red heels that I got at the mall. And then I have like a cream coat. And this is my little red bag. Serving pop of red. What? Clayton is wearing like all black. He looks super nice. Eh? Going to the event. You guys, wait a minute. Look what just happened. I had a wardrobe malfunction. Wait, zipper pump? Little zipper, full pop, all the way down, and we were like, "It's not even like that tight, though." It's not I that think, tight. It just something happened. The way well, you were sitting, we were sitting in the car for like two hours. We were filming maybe. crazy <laughs> TikToks. But, and I was uh, just like, "Ah, did that just happen?" But we're like, "What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do?" I was like, "Let's just go get some safety pins. We'll pin it up. Whatever." I called my manager because her mom is a designer and like a seamstress, or like she designs clothes so she like knows a lot about clothes and stuff I thought she had like a trick for how to do it and she literally was like are you wearing the black long leather dress from House of CB and I was like yeah she was like I just bought it in a size small right now I'm just walking out the door of the store like will that will that work and I was like wait what what are the odds like the actual odds of that come on so she's just gonna bring me her dress that's the same dress I'm just gonna change so, easy enough yeah We're at Blake and John's house now. We're going to bed. It was such a successful night. I had so much fun celebrating literally one of my favorite brands of all time. JS Health has literally changed my life. Like their hair and energy pills are 
my go-to. I drink their matcha every day. I love their collagen powder, their detox diva. I mean, they're just amazing. Anyways, I had so much fun getting to spend time with Jess, the founder. She's incredible. And her husband, Dean. Clayton loves him so much. There he is over there. <laughs> and all our friends, or like, not all our friends, but a lot of good friends there. And now we are at Blake and John's house. We are having a little sleepover. They're the best for letting us stay. What's going on on the side of my face? Let me investigate. Mm. I can't tell. Beautiful, you did such a great job. Thank you. I didn't do much. <laughs> Good night. You know those brown eyes in the sun make me weak. I still get butterflies every time we speak. In my head cause it feels like I'm dreaming I think we're in love but baby is that just me?